Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Pilot Limited. Now let's see about addition and subtraction of decimals. So if you see in this one, the topics which we are going to discuss in this video are as follows. So the first one is addition and subtraction. Along with that, we are going to deal with its examples. Before we start, let us see the basic things in terms of addition and subtraction of decimals. To add or subtract any kinds of decimal numbers, we must have and make sure that the decimal points of the given numbers are placed exactly one below another. We can have a checkout over here. As of the point which is defined over here, we must make sure that the decimal points of a given number. For example, let us consider these as the given numbers. 10.00 and 3.50 so if this is the given number we have to check out whether these numbers are placed exactly one below the another as it is if we move on to the next statement we have whenever we are adding or subtracting two decimal numbers the number of digits after the decimal point should be equal you can see here once after the decimal numbers, whenever we are subtracting, we can able to find out that the digits after the decimal point is equal. So in both the cases, we have 0.00 is there in the first term, 0.50 is there in the second term. So on both the cases, it's equal. In case they are not equal, the gaps must be filled with zeros after the last digit. So we have filled zeros in the first term. So these are the points which we must have in mind before doing the problems based on addition and subtraction of decimals. Let's see some of the examples. So we have an example defined over here that is we are going to add 1 and 1.5. The first thing which we must do is that we must insert zeros in the empty place since the question is 1 which needs to be added up with 1.5 so if you see over here we have added 0 in the empty place because of the value 0 we have mentioned it in the denotion of yellow which is considered to be the highlighted one so once after filling up the zero in empty places we got to add the decimal point so that both the numbers have the same number of digits after the decimal point so now it's going to be equal now we need to write the number such that the decimal points are one below another by adding this one zero plus five gives five so we have mentioned five keeping the decimal point we need to add up 1 plus 1 that is 2 so answer is 2.5 now let us move to the next example where we have the question 9 which needs to be added up with 2.5 let's see the solution for this one So the first term is mentioned and the second term that is 2.5 is mentioned over here. Since 9 is a whole number, it doesn't have any decimal. So we have filled up the empty places by inserting 0. Now when we are adding the term, the values will be 0 plus 5 as 5 which is mentioned. Placing the decimal point over here, we are adding 9 plus 2 that is 11. So the answer is 11.5. We'll see the next example. So we are going to add 10 and 3.50. So the solution is since 10 is a whole number we have added zeros. Now we can simply add the first term and the second term. So the ones place is 0, 0. So we can simply add 0 plus 0 to 0. So we have mentioned 0. The next term 0 plus 5 that's 5 we have mentioned. Keeping the decimal point we are going to add 0 plus 3 that's 3 and the 1 over here 
So the answer is 13.50. Now let's see the next example where we have 24 which needs to be added up with 8.327. So the solution is all about. So if you see since 24 is a whole number it doesn't have any decimal places. So we have added three zeros in order to equate with the second term. So now when we are adding the terms 0 plus 7 it's 7. 0 plus 2 it's 2, 0 plus 3 it's 3, 4 plus 8 it's 12. So we have mentioned a carry over here. Now adding up 1 and 2, we will be getting an answer of 3. So altogether the answer is 32.327. Now we will move on to the next problem where we have the question 5.84 which needs to be added up with 8 and 12.79. So let's say solution since 5.84 is mentioned the second term it's 8 since 8 is whole number in order to equate to the other two terms we have added two more zeros in order to make it as a decimal number. So we have the third term that's 12.79 and adding up the first thing that is the ones place. 4 plus 0 plus 9 it's 14 we are making the carry to the next term on adding 8 plus 0 plus 7 along with this 1 which is a carry we will be getting 16 so keeping 1 over here which is a carry and putting 6 now when we add 5 plus 8 plus 2 along with the carry 1 we will be getting 16 so keeping a carry 1 over here and placing 6 over here now on adding 1 plus 1 it's 2. So this is how the decimal addition is taking place. Now let's move on to the examples of subtraction in terms of decimal. So the same thing is the first point which we have seen in addition. We got to subtract 1.5 from 3. This from indicates the second term has to come first and followed by the previous term. Since 3 is a whole number, we have inserted 0 in order to make it as the equivalence of decimal. So first, as we inserted 0 in the empty place, we got to place the decimal point. So that both the numbers, the numbers are 3.0 and 1.5. So we have placed the numbers which have the same number of digits after the decimal point. We have 0 over here and 5 over here. After that, we got to write the numbers such that the decimal points are one below the another. But if you see over here, if we subtract 0 minus 5, 0 cannot be subtracted from 5. Right? So we got to borrow from the previous term. When we borrow, this 3 gets cancelled and it becomes 2 and 1 will be moved over here. Now the term is 10. 10 when it's subtracted from 5, we'll be getting an answer of 5. Since it was 2, 2 subtracted from 1, it's 1. So the answer is 